If I could give women advice, don't pressure dudes. If she sleeps with you on the first date, I would, I would applaud her for having good taste. Michelle Obama or Beyonce? Did you really ask me that? Welcome to Ask a Black Man, the show where we get real answers from real men. I'm Kayla Walker, and this is the dating episode. Now, before we get started, allow me to introduce our panel of gentlemen. We have Bartel, Jeff, Duvall, and Demetrius. Thank you guys for coming out and giving us real answers to these questions that we have. So again, this is a dating episode, so let's just dive right in, okay? So tell me, would, would you take a woman seriously if she slept with you on the first date? Yeah, that's how most relationships get started. Really? Yeah. First date, she sleeps with you and you're taking her serious? Yeah, because if it's great, then you got to keep her. Oh, okay. If not, then you just do it one, one or two more times and then... Hit it like, and quit it? Yeah, bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, society's changed. You know, women are just as aggressive as men now, so, you know, it, it depends. It depends. You know, it depends on your swagger, too, as a guy, because if you're the type of guy that gets it, then you're not surprised. <laughs> but if you don't get it, and then you get it, you're like, what's wrong with this girl? So it depends on your swag. You think what's wrong with her? You don't think like, oh, maybe she's a good girl. No, no, not if you don't get it. I'm saying if you're the type of guy who doesn't get it all the time and then a girl just gives it to you on the first date, of course you're not going to Yeah, he's going to take the it. treasure. He's going to put on a pedestal. Right. Like, if but, he doesn't get any. See, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Interesting. If you're a guy that's used to getting women, you don't worry about that type of thing. Okay. Demetrius, your thoughts? My, I, I kind of feel like if she's willing to sleep with me on the first date, I'm going to be a little leery. Because I like a challenge. Yes. So So she might see. seem a little easy if she sleeps with you on the first so date. So you just yeah. want to go like, on like, dates and spend mad bread? And no, no, not <laughs> Look, at all. He wants to get there really like, quick. But he it, wants it, to waste no, no but it's time. Like, it's, like, it's like Tupac said, I don't want it if it's that easy. Look, I, I, just, <laughs> think, I just think that there's, yeah. there's different man, things, man. You can't just base it off of just getting on the first night. You can tell, you can tell if there's a connection. What if there's just a strong connection and you meet your soulmate on the first night? Women just put these rules in. They gotta wait three months. Ain't nobody waiting three months. Stupid. Yeah. Okay, oh, Jeff. Waiting. It is. I mean, if she if she sleeps with you on the first date, I would I would applaud her for having good taste. That's what I was saying. I mean, that's okay. first of all, brother. And, and, all right. and you know, I would know that she has good taste, but <laughs> but seriously, it, it all depends on your mindset. Like, if you're if you're a man and you go into it thinking this is what I, this is my mission. My mission is to sleep with her. If that's what you do and you accomplish it, you're not really thinking past. The act. Okay. But if, if it's something that we've been in a lot of different situations where you might just hit it off and it and it just happens and then after that you may be you may be there and like, oh I wasn't thinking there was gonna be an aftermath to this. I thought I was just gonna hit and be done. But you might think she's actually cool too. So mm -hmm. maybe we can see where this goes. You can't really judge because if women were to judge men off of sleeping on the first date, then you probably never get married ever. Very in true. Life. Ever. Very Ever. True. So we got three to one. Demetrius is saying, uh, eh, she's a little too easy. You guys are like, the sooner the better. Let me see yeah. what I'm working with right <laughs> now. Emotion, right. passion. And he's going to quote a rapper. Like, rappers don't sleep with women on first night all the time. Yeah, rap, rap, most rappers don't get married either, though. He's so. saying that right. in her ear while he's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. On the first night. All right, so tell me, do you mind when a woman makes the first move? I, I can already feel what you guys are going to say. Not at all. But tell I me. think that's better. You think it's better? Yeah. Why? Because most of these women are like, they just want a dude to court them and take them out, but they really not interested in them. So if a, if a woman makes that first move, you know that you're not wasting your time. Like and She lets you know she's interested. Exactly. That's so true. Yeah. That's so true. They, they say men are conniving, but women at times can be way worse than yeah. men. Because you'll see a woman... Just string a guy along, knowing that it's going nowhere, but he's going to buy her dinner, take her to lunches, mm -hmm. go games. on trips. And then she'll go back home to her girlfriend's like, I ain't going to let him hit it, but I'm going to let him right. take it out. Yep. To, let, let him take me out till he figure it out. Right, he, he, ends, he ends up messed up. And he ends up in the friend zone. Right, and he ends up in the friend zone. Yeah. Exactly. VIP <laughs> in the friend zone. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it is. what it is now yeah. in the 2012. Yeah. Like, so wait, tell me, are you guys sitting back and waiting for women to approach you? I'm not. No. 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 But if it happens, no. it happens. Yeah. Okay. There's no reason to wait. I mean, she, you know, 
you women already know what they want when they see you. It's yeah. just a matter of whether or not they're going to act on it. Right. And when they do, it kind of puts the pressure on us because you're in a lose lose. Because if you if you don't do anything, oh, he's probably gay anyway. But mm -hmm. if That's you do true. and and you mess up, then it's kind of like, oh, I was just I was just testing the water. So mm -hmm. you, she kind of puts the pressure back on you. Like it's it's a chess game. So once she puts you in a in a certain move, she's thinking the next two or three moves ahead. You know, you just have to play the game right. That type of woman keeps you on your toes. And that's what makes a relationship fun. Because things can get stale and boring after a while. You know, you think about the way society is now. Women are extremely aggressive. Mm -hmm. And they're smart. It's not yes. like old school days. Mm -hmm. So you want somebody that's going to keep you on your toes a little bit. And if, if she can make it enjoyable, then why not? Okay. So tell me, how important is attraction when you guys are down on love? On a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 5,000. Yeah. yeah. Attraction is a million. Point. A million. <laughs> yeah, it's Plus important. One. It's important. Yeah. It's so, important. Because cause you're, you're not going to be inclined to really want to get to know a female unless there is that initial attraction mm -hmm. there. There are instances where that's not the case. Like if you're in a work environment and you see a young lady and maybe you're not initially physically attracted to her. But if after a while, you know, working with her, spending time around her, maybe that becomes secondary. But if it's not a situation like that, then, you know, off the bat, attraction is definitely important. Yeah. Or if the sex is just awesome, then you could just tolerate a little bit of ugliness for like... I can't. I, I can't. Minutes. I can't. <laughs> attraction, has to, attraction has to be like at the top of the list. No, that's that's beast mode. I mean, I respect it, but that's... that's yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I can never... I can never... Well... I mean, I can never say... No, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. That's not my thing. On average, it's not my thing. On high average, that's not that's not. <laughs> it's I not would my thing. Go. Yeah, on average. That's why I said once in a while you get. Lines. Yeah, you didn't Don't say once in a while. Nah, 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 nah. If it's good, you he would go with it. You, you did say that. Oh. But yo, you was like, if it's good. But then again, you're talking about can... love, right? Yes, love. You're talking about, oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I love pretty women. That's I love what I love. Pretty women. Yeah. Okay, so besides attraction, what else is important in a relationship? Intelligence. Intelligence. Definitely honesty. You talking about love? They love, gotta, yes, love. They gotta Give me love. love. Okay, they gotta love kids. Mm -hmm. Motherly love. instincts. Okay. Because look, if, if you're talking about love and being with someone for the rest of your life, why, why are we together to create and, and reproduce? If you find a woman that has all your qualities but she doesn't want to be a mom, really, realistically, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's what relationships are. People get together so they can reproduce. I mean, okay. if you don't want to have kids, if she's not a mother, because there are some really good women who just don't want to be moms. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's my, my biggest thing after attraction was she has to have motherly instincts. They got to have goals in life. Goals. Yeah. Honesty. Okay, honesty. Morals. Good morals. Good morals. Good moral character. She's yeah. got to be pretty. She's got to have honesty, goals, morals. She's got to have a work ethic. A work ethic. Yes, because it, it, it takes a lot to be in a relationship, and it takes a, a lot to stay looking fine. So if you don't have work ethic, then you won't stay looking fine. Mm. So you need work ethic you need work to look ethic. good. You got to work, women. You hear that, ladies? You got to work to you look gotta good. You got to work. I said it. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look right in the camera and say, <laughs> you got to work. And tell me about that other thing. You mentioned kids. Tell me about the importance of reproduction. Kia, I mean, uh, reproduction is important. That's mainly what people get together for, just to create life and, and keep the human race going. So if you find a woman who's beautiful, intelligent, has a great work ethic, but her career is the number one thing on her, on her life's path, and she doesn't want to have kids, that's fine, you know, to date. But talking about love, I, I, that wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to be in a relationship with someone like that long term. I would have fun with somebody like that, a lot of fun. Okay. Just wouldn't, you know, settle down and be in love with someone like that. Now, Demetria, she's not like super attractive. She's pretty, mm -hmm. or she's she's okay. Mm -hmm. But she's a really honest, trustworthy, faithful woman. Is that okay for you? Would you that's work a, with that, that? That's okay with me because my number one pet peeve, I don't like it when people lie to me, you know? And um, I've been in situations where I'm talking to a young lady and I'm asking her a question and sometimes it's a test. I already know the answer to the question. Mm -hmm. And if you look me dead in my grill and lie to me, we have a problem. So Sorry, Because cause, right. cause I look at it like anything built upon a lie will eventually collapse. So I'll keep so. smashing them. You collapse once <laughs> <laughs> you But, but, but if we're talking like, about yeah, love and we're talking about trying it. to build a foundation, I feel it. You know, anything built upon a lie will collapse. So if you lying to me right off the bat for whatever reason, we have a problem. 
All right. So let's let's keep it light. We're we're talking about dating here. Okay. So again, this woman has to be super attractive. She's got to be honest. She's got to be into kids, a mother. She's got to be trustworthy. She's got to have goals, morals. Work ethic. Don't forget that. Worth ethic, of course. But <laughs> here's the thing. These women have it going on that you're talking about. These women that you are dating. Are you ever intimidated by women? No. 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 I, I mean, funny dudes are, but not real dudes. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's true. It's the truth. It's like, the let's truth. not. So she's know. a ten. She's ten on every scale. She's approached you. She's she, super confident, and you're not intimidated. No. Oh, if a woman has approached me, then I know right off the bat that she's interested. So. If you know that she's interested, then really all you have to do is just go with the flow and play your cards right. Okay, you over here shaking your head. Cause some women are intimidated. Like you date Kim Kardashian, she smashed Reggie Bush, Bow Wow, and all these other people. But, but that's not intimidated. That's not that's being leery because. No, I'm saying if she approaches you now, you're gonna feel some type of insecurities because she's used to being in Lambos and all this other stuff. Like you can't do what all those it's other people have done. See, now, I, I wouldn't be because I look at it like, you know, if she sees me pull up in a, in a G6 instead of a Lambo, then she knows. If not, then that's on her. I look at it like at the end of the day, that's her loss. To be you know? real, and also it depends on the lifestyle that you lead yeah. and the lifestyle that you are accustomed to. Like, personally, I have friends in the industry, outside of industry, sports, everywhere, so I've kind of been acclimated to that as well. So it's kind of like if you're already... If you're already aware of that, then those type of occurrences won't scare you off or intimidate mm. you. I'm not saying that you may not feel a certain type of intimidation, but it's what you do when the pressure is on. Mm. When, like, you know, if, if they approach you, are you going to be like, oh, I don't think that I can measure up? It's me. Mm -hmm. You got to have confidence. I'm thinking, exactly. I'm thinking, exactly. in my mind, I'm like, me. I'm right. like, I'm, in my mind, I'm hyping myself up. I got, I'm the like, dude yeah, in the corner, I like, got yo, this. you need to go handle that. Like, right. this is yeah. you right, right here. No one better than you. You designed yourself. Right, right, right. This is you talking to you. This is you talking to you. talking to me and my <laughs> This is the little man on his shoulder. you don't have that in anything you do in life, you're going to be a failure. Just like, just like, what's going to separate the ordinary from the extraordinary? It's you. That's true. And that's with anything, that's especially true. with women. Yeah, you're, and they you're, can, you're and all in see it. Y'all are like vampires when it comes to confidence. Man, yeah. it's all it's good. Good. You can smell it's it. It's true. You yeah. have heightened senses. You they can, talking you can like smell this it. now. It's all good until LeBron pulls up to their girl, and then mm. it's a different story. Well, guys, it's not a so you, you are. Let me be honest. Let me be honest. It's all good. Let me be honest. But y'all is not feeling you guys right now. He's like, you're fine. I'm the only one that's married, right? Okay. And I play pro ball. So I've been in areas where my, my, my wife is extremely attractive mm -hmm. and I've been in situations where men that made ton of money, way more money than I did, approached my wife and she's still my wife. I don't get intimidated. Mm. To be honest, I don't. My, my, to me, I'm like, I'm like Jeff in the same way. My swag is my swag. Right. If I'm worried about him taking my wife, then I don't ever have her. Yeah. If I'm worried about that, I lays it down the way I lays it down. That's just the way it is. Right. I'm not worried about that. If, if, if she's going to go with somebody because they have a nice car, then go ahead. I'll just find another chick. Chicks outnumber us in the world six to one. I'm really not worried about that. Only six? Well, I'm talking about numbers-wise. Mm. Just numbers-wise, but I mean, it's, it may be way I more than that. But, but my thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm really not worried about that. Like, I'm, I'm just not. I've never been intimidated by a woman. But here's the situation. Perhaps, okay, it's a guy. He's a city worker, if you will. And this high power, high executive approaches him and wants to date him. She is obviously six figures. She's perfect. It doesn't perfect. matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If Listen, this, there's something about certain types of, of men in the world that are just conquerors, right? Like, like for example, I call this my, my wild stallion versus donkey theory, all right? <laughs> listen, just listen. Wild stallion that, wild, versus If you're a wild stallion, right, mm -hmm. you're just a free spirit. It takes a special type of rider, a special type of chick, to conquer a wild stallion. It takes a strong chick that's going to get knocked down a couple times because you try to get on top of a stallion, what happened? He going to knock you down. <laughs> so a lot of women get intimidated, right? If you try to get on a donkey, yeah, donkey will just let you stand there. They can carry a lot of weight. If you got a couple kids, you got some money, yeah. They'll let you, you know, but you can't lead. A donkey won't lead you to prosperity. A stallion will. So if you a stallion, you ain't intimidated by anybody climbing on your back. Because I can get you off whenever I want. But if, That's if, just my theory. If, okay. if I could add on to that, I would also say one of the other reasons why I wouldn't be intimidated is because 
you know, I've heard tons of women say it, and I know every woman in this room would agree with what I'm saying, and every woman out there, a lot of women say a good man is hard to find. So if I'm A, confident, and B, I know that I know that I know that I'm a good man, then let's get to it. But women don't want good men. They want what some don't. Want? What do some we want? Some don't. Yo, what do some want? do, yo, some don't. Want, what do we want? Y'all want dudes that will treat you like garbage so y'all can talk to y'all female friends like, ah, oh, he ain't nothing. My man treats me like this. See, uh, you need to be take his mic off. I don't disagree with him completely because I, I've, I've encountered women who, I mean, they just, they, they go after the bad boys, the bums, the yep. thugs, the losers, and then they With complain about credit, it. And then, and then, and then if kids. a so-called nice guy comes, oh, he's too nice. Yep. Excuse me? Yeah. What are you talking about? Like, you're such a Listen, sweetheart. I'm going to tell you why, though. Okay, last nice, thought, last it's thought. Not, it's not the, the women all the time. It's the men. All right? Think about it. You have to be a good dude mm -hmm. with good credit, but also have a little bit of thug in you. You can't be a pushover just because you got good credit. Mm -hmm. A lot of dudes are either one or the other. You got to be, gotta be, you know, you got to be on top of your game, but like, yo, if you step to me the wrong way, I'm going to put you in your place, whether that's a male or a female. Mm -hmm. But then you got to have your stuff in order. There's too many guys that are on one end of the spectrum or the other, and that's mm -hmm. what women struggle with because they don't want a weak dude, but they don't want a thug with no credit. That's the bottom line. <laughs> this coming from the man that is married. Guys, would you let a woman pay on the first date? No. No. Nope. You would hit it on the first date, but you would not let her pay no, on the first date. I wouldn't date. let her pay because okay. it's coded in your DNA throughout <laughs> all walks of life <laughs> that if I pay, if you pay on the first date, that's it. Game is over. Thank you for playing our game. Please see Sheila for this toaster in the back, <laughs> and it's, all, it's, all, it's over. Yeah. Because you it's lose. just, and you know what? There's certain societal norms that that aren't going to be broke, and to me, that's one of them. Like, all I would ask is that you do the, the ceremonial reach for your bag. Oh, you want the, that? The you want the reach? I mean, I mean, yeah. you like, want the, oh, let just, me. That, that'll show yeah. me that you, you appreciate that I'm paying for it. Like, oh, let me get that. Oh, got, no, 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 I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. You, yeah. know, you know, that's fine. But you anybody like who money. pays, anybody who pays on the, um, you let a woman pay on the first date. Yeah. I don't care if she's making a million dollars. You let her pay on the first date. You're getting trashed. Mm -hmm. You're getting. Yeah. You're, you're not yeah. getting Epic anything fail. else. Yep. Calling the whole girl. Just like I said before, else. this yeah. dude is it's, no it's good. Over. It's yeah. over. He made me pay. Now, I kind. I kind of agree with him on that. Yeah. You know, like you. It's. It's just. If nothing else, it's. It's just the the manly or the gentlemanly thing to do. Pay on the first date. But Burchell over here will allow a woman to pay the tip. From what I understand, yeah, yeah like she can lay down a tip. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, nice. twice the tax. Nah, no, listen. Wait, five dollars for a tip? What kind of dates are you going on for the first date? We all go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I even I have you out there. Yeah, maybe. Everything Yo. with a woman is psychological yeah. warfare. Because, like Jeff said, at the end of the date. She's gonna call her tribe. They're gonna get why, together. Why do they have to be a tribe? Because that's what they do. They get together. Or council. Or council. They get together. No, no, no. It's uh, not. No, because they, they gotta around. vote. It's a tribe or a council. Like, like yes. It's the Illuminati. It's exactly. They the vote on your existence. Twelve. <laughs> they vote on your existence. <laughs> For the vow. I, I, nay, nay. Then based on what the tribe say, yeah. you get the boot. Now, if you if you let her pay, oh, it's a wrap. There's a bunch of names around. Yeah. They're just gonna talk about you. She's just gonna come back. I paid. What? Girl, Girl, he weak. Who's next? He weak. He wants out. you for your money. He's a pushover. Mm -mm, mm -mm, yep. mm -mm, mm -mm. That's what's going to happen. All right, guys. Here's a tough one. Or maybe not. Michelle Obama or Beyonce? <laughs> question is that? Did you really ask me that? I, I really hmm. did. Which one? Beyonce. Oh, see? Okay. Beyonce. Of course, you would say that. Why would why, Beyonce, I, why, why I get that? I want to see your wife. I would want to see your wife. I'm sure she's she's. I got pictures in my phone. I'm sure. Okay, we're gonna see that. Shout out to oh. my baby. <laughs> <laughs> my son Jackson. I love y'all. You know. What about you? Moon. It's a toss up. Toss up. Yeah. I'm surprised. Okay, why is I, it a toss up? Because I know Beyonce's past. I don't know Michelle Obama's past. Like. You got to run her credit score before, like, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, uh, Beyonce's had Jay-Z. Oh she's God. had uh, Marcus Houston. And so right you don't now. even know, like, what else. But I'm you so kind of get a point. And then Michelle Obama, she's married. Like, you don't know her credit score. So. You dating a chick that gives it up on the first date, but you like, I don't know Michelle Obama pass. I don't know how she's laying it down. <laughs> now, are you saying wife or are you saying just, like, I'm talking about dating. Preferential so, dating. dating. I'm talking about dating. Which one? 
So everything we said got go attraction. With Obama. I got to go with Michelle Obama. Okay, Michelle Obama. You got Beyonce, Michelle Obama. Score. I think Beyonce's credit score. I think he's trying to beat this, though, B. Because we sat up here all said that looks is going to be... You got, most important you got to stick to your story? That's the first lady, son. That's, you got to stick to your story? Yeah. She ain't going to be the first lady if she with you, bro. Mm. <laughs> she going to be the first lady at IHOP? Yeah. She's she not going to be the first lady. I'm going with Michelle Obama. Obama's kicking her out. Okay. Michelle Obama. That's what I Beyonce, said. Smashing us. Demetrius I'm going, says. I'm going with Michelle. Why Michelle? Because, you know, when, when I hear about a woman who has graduated from Harvard or Columbia, you know, she's a high-powered attorney or what have you. I mean, to me, that's a turn-on. You know, like a Harvard strong, too, powerful black woman, that's a turn-on to me. I could get Tell with on. that. Beyonce's not powerful? Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just talking about that whole, you know, intellectual piece and, and nothing against Beyonce. I'm just saying, you know, I don't know what, what school, um, you know, Michelle Obama graduated. I don't know if it was Columbia or Harvard. Okay, so... I don't think an Ivy League education makes you intelligent. President Bush graduated from Ivy League. And okay, let's not. Basic. Let's mm -hmm. not talk about President Bush. I'm just saying. He's an exception. I'm Jeff, saying, you're a little like, quiet there. Uh, what are your thoughts? I'm, I'm glad you asked. I'm still thinking. You still thinking? <laughs> um, what, what is this for? Like dating? We're talking about dating. No, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, I'm dating. Asking. So which one would you date and then, dating. you know, uh, maybe fall in love with and be with? But initially, dating. This one's still shaking his head. See, he's confused uh, too. I mean, you it, were it, not it's, confused. It's, it's it's not as clear cut as you as as we say. Only because if we're talking about dating, that means you're look, thinking about a future. You're taking everything into yeah, account. account. Yeah. I don't really know. Like from what you know about Michelle Obama, she's had more of a platform to show like her intelligence, her where you know her stance on issues and things like that. Entertainers, you're not really looking for that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a looks versus versus, I guess, background or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. gun to my head, I would probably say Beyonce because I'm more attracted to her. So if I can, I will stay around to find out if my other criteria is met. And if not, then on to the next one. They put a lot of thought into my this. Head. Uh, <laughs> Michelle, Michelle Obama is too, too, too tall. She's too tall. tall. <laughs> She's too tall. You intimidated? She's too tall. Are you intimidated uh, by her height? <laughs> Sounds like a little intimidation there. She's just too tall for me. Yeah. She's just too tall. She's just too tall. Beyonce's a donkey. Michelle Obama's a donkey. <laughs> I, don't think ah. I cannot. The donkey and stallion representative. You're going to take Michelle Obama to IHOP and tip $5 and make her pay for it. Yep. <laughs> She's not staying with you, son. I'm sorry, son. Date over. <laughs> they, they, they Date officially done. over. Secret service. Like Vince Carter. She's going to walk out of IHOP like this. I'm going to go ahead and sharpshoot you. Tell me, guys, how do you feel about interracial dating? Mm. I think mm. it's great. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Demetrius is, mm. what's that mm about? Well, um, overall, I don't have a problem with interracial relationships. Um, I believe that if two people um, just happen to meet one another and begin to speak and get to know one another and they fall in love, that's cool. Um, but I, when I was being interviewed before this whole thing happened, you know, one of the things I said is that I have a problem, me personally, if, um, let's say, you have a stadium full of black women, and then the, there's one white girl, and the black man goes to the white girl. I have a problem with that, and I know some guys like that. I don't have a problem with people having preferences, but I know certain dudes who, in my opinion, are afraid of black women, or they think black is less, and I have a fundamental problem with that. Like, they don't think black is beautiful, and that, that's, that's an issue with me, okay. so. So would you date a white woman? I would never say never, but... It's not your preference. It's not my preference. And you guys? Interracial dating, okay? Yay, nay, um, for I, it, against I, it? To be honest, I don't know. It's just, it depends, depends. When, you know, if you're dating a person, you're not really looking, you don't know exactly what you're looking for. When it comes to times for kids, that's tough because, you know, having a child that's mixed is not easy for the child. You know, it's not easy for the parents either because I have a couple of mixed friends and they don't, they don't feel like they belong to either race. They're not black enough for the blacks. They're not white enough for the whites. Okay. If you're a black son, Caxes his white dad, you know, how, how, what is it like being a black guy? He's never going to understand. Yeah. You know, so it's tough when it comes to kids. But for dating and having fun and just building, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't. Okay. Jeff, let's just work our way down the line. Nope. Don't have a problem at all. No problem. This one over here shaking his head again. Uh, if it happens, it happens. Like, I don't have any preference. If it happens, it happens. 
As long as she knows some Waka Flocka lyrics, and then we good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say something else. Yeah. <laughs> oh. As long as she's built like a black girl, it's cool. <laughs> but that's normally what you hear. That's that normally too. what you hear. Okay, so tell me, when is it too soon to move in together? You've been dating for a minute now. When is it too soon to move in together? Mm. Man, I, I, oh man. I, <laughs> Ugh, they stuck. Yeah, Listen, there's no, one thing about men, we don't put times and dates and months on things. Like women tend to do that. I'm, you know, six months is this, nine months. You gotta have a feeling when you're a guy. Just when you, when you decide that, okay, my independence doesn't mean as much to me anymore, and I'm cool with moving on to the next level, which is probably engagement or kids, then is the time. That doesn't mean you have to get engaged, but if you're looking towards that and you want to see what it's going to be like to be with that woman every day and come home to her, I would suggest you move in with them prior to getting engaged because you don't want to know what you're getting into. You, know, you, don't, you don't want to know what you don't have before you get into it. You know? Okay. And a, lot, and a lot of people have said you don't really know a person until you live with them. So I, I agree with what Devel said. Mr. Morals here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I haven't... I've never lived with a woman or th that I've dated, so I, I'm kind of on on uh, the Val's uh, wavelength when it comes to knowing, like what you said, what you said, Demetrius. Also, knowing you don't, you never know a person until you live with them. Uh, but I'm kind of cool on my independence, so it it would have to be real for me to actually move in. I probably wouldn't even do it until marriage. So that's me. I don't know. I've never lived with a woman. I've never asked any woman to move in with me. I don't want to move no. in with a woman. I just want to get it quit it. I don't want to marry a woman. I just want to be hot, eight to ten. Me below me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not happening. Any pressure on a woman to move in with me? I, I really don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> I mean, it's just. How old are you? Um, May I ask? Twenty-seven. Okay. Listen, if, okay. if, if, if I could give women advice. Don't pressure dudes. Pressure just pushes guys away. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are not moving in that situation fast enough for you, then find another situation. Then walk, yeah. Because the, pr the pressure is not going to make it any better. Right. Serious. All yeah, it's going to do is pull them away. It's going to be like, whoa, whoa, you're stifling yeah, me. Yeah, that's, that's Then it gets worse. Yeah, like, what? 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 <laughs> women need to understand that a man, nine times out of ten, is going to pursue what he wants. Yeah. Right. And if he's not pursuing, either he's not that interested or he's not interested at all. Now is that also the case when you go from dating to being exclusive? Sit back and wait for the man to S make that move? Just sit back and wait. Like why are you rushing to be honest? Is it just for the title of being exclusive? Like what's the purpose? Mm -hmm. I never understood when women, you know, they want to get, oh, we need to get engaged. Why? Now we're engaged. We need to get married. Why? All that changed is the title. Everything's still the same between us. Let him do what he needs to do in his time. If he's still with you, then there's a reason why he's still with you. Because at any point, he could have been like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Peace. But he's still there, so let him do his thing until he's ready. That's the only way it's going to happen happily for the both of you guys. You got dead all the side chicks first before. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, stop calling <laughs> well, me. Well, I think, I think from what you're saying, it's like, that's like asking the sky to be green. Asking a woman not to pressure and not to you. want titles and not to want to put timelines on everything I in feel life. You. So... It's something that, just like what you said, it's either you you work within the situation that you have or you move on. Mm -hmm. right. But it, 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 then it comes to the point where you actually have to pull the trigger to move on. Right. So if you're going to move on, don't have any regrets. Right. But you're not going to be able to change that man. Right, he's going right, to want right. to have to change for right. himself or see something where he's like, you know what, this is what I want to do. It's, nobody's a psychic. Nobody knows what when that's going to happen. But if you're not uh, you're not satisfied with it, then... Peace. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't have a problem with a woman, you know. I, I agree with what Duval said about women not pressuring men, but mm -hmm. on the other hand, if it's been going along for let's say nine months, you know, twelve, like a year or so, year and a half or so, um, and the the topic hasn't been brought up, so hasn't been discussed, at that point. then yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with a woman, you know, sitting down and saying, you know, look, what's going on here? Where are we going? You know, because there needs, like I heard somebody say one time, specificity is the basis for agreement. So, you know, what are we doing? Where are we going? Um, you know, a lot of women out here, their attitude is, look, I don't have time to waste. Um, so I, I, I can kind of respect where women are coming from if, if they want to sit down and have that talk. Okay. Finish this sentence for me. The most awkward thing a woman can do on a date is? Fart now. 
Um, I would say one of the most awkward things a woman can do on a date is if we're sitting there and we're talking and you know the vibe is right and so on and so forth then all of a sudden another guy or gentleman Damn, like enters the one. room I was gonna say that one I sorry <laughs> no that, I mean that's and, perfect you know me. and she's like you know clearly like visibly paying Into attention him? yeah it's like, like really really come on and you there, focus here? here focus three texts and a phone call Three texts and a phone call. Yeah. That's awkward. Yeah, three texts. Cause one, like you could get away it's with one tribe. text, but like yo, I'm on a, I'm on it a is date. The tribe. Leave me alone. He took my other one. Jesus. <laughs> three texts and then you get up and walk away and then you on the phone. Like yeah, yeah, no. Nah, that's what if you don't, Yeah, if you don't spend a night at her crib, then you know where she's at. <laughs> All right, three texts and a phone call. Yeah. Not paying attention to you. Uh, yeah, you guys took. Off. Yeah, you know, those <laughs> are the two. I, I would say. I would say. <laughs> ask you about people she knows about that you you dealt with like if it's like the first date it's like <laughs> oh so like <laughs> like if she knows all of your like, friends what like, was like, you or, or or if it's a situation where it's like she already like has like a scouting report on you like, so, <laughs> so so it's like yeah so in 2004 you remember a girl named Amber? <laughs> Nah, I don't know who you're talking about. She's been Facebook about. stalking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's oh, like, yes. you, don't, you don't know her? Like, she takes your iPad and goes, her, and you're like, oh, she actually. Oh, that was your sister? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you later and leave because it's like, it's like when you're like, if it's like the first date or you're dating, like, well, if it's like the first date, I'm talking about from a first date perspective. Yeah. All of that, all of that seriousness, like, where are you going with that? Mm -hmm. Like, what, what is that? I, I just met you. I'm just taking you out. I, I'm yeah. paying. I'm, at, I'm paying. Don't worry about it. Like, let's. let's I'm paying. Like, and I'm not asking you to tip. And I'm not, I, I'm not asking you to tip. I'm <laughs> yeah. paying. Like, we're getting to know each yeah, other. Yeah, let's but, just get to know but, each other. But yeah. chill. I'm not a, I'm not a, like, a felon. Gotcha. You know? Okay. Well, this has been quite the interesting conversation. I got a lot of good notes, and I hope you did too. Be sure to catch other episodes of Ask a Black Man on MadamNoir.com. And in the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Madame Noir.